So now there is one concept that one resource that deserves that we spend some time on it because uh, it's not completely intuitive, but it's fairly important. It's the a pod. So a pod is a collection of containers uh, that form an atomic unit of scheduling. What, what does that mean? Like an atomic unit of scheduling? It means it's a group of containers that always get scheduled uh, together. They run together on a single machine. So for instance, here, it's a pod that has Nginx, a web server, and Logger, whatever Logger could be. Uh, Nginx and Logger need to run together in that case. So when, when the scheduler is going to decide where uh, Nginx goes, it, it decides at the same time where Logger goes. They always will go together. Uh, and when I, when I scale up, I don't scale up by adding more Nginx in the same pod because I would just have a bigger pod and it still has to be on a single machine. So at, at some point it's, uh, it, it, it's, it's not just possible anymore to schedule that pod anywhere. When I scale up, I uh, create multiple copies of the same pod. So if I want five Nginx, I'm not putting five Nginx in a single pod. I'm having five pods with Nginx in them. So pods, um, are uh, scheduled on a, on, a, on a single node and the containers in a pod all have the same IP address. And this can be a little bit mind-breaking, especially if you have a really traditional network background. Uh, in traditional networks, if you have two machines with the same IP address, um, that doesn't work. I mean, it kind of does work, and then you have an, an IP address conflict, and sometimes one machine works, the, and then it's the other, and, and like problems, and it's pretty can be pretty tricky to, to debug. Uh, so how is it possible for multiple containers to have the same IP address? Uh, this is thanks to the magic of uh, network namespaces. So it's a specific feature in the kernel. That's the it's the feature that allows a container to have its own uh, IP address. Uh, when when a container is created, there is a network namespace created for that container, and that network namespace, uh, the container has its own IP address. It has its own routing table, its own IP tables rule, its own like everything. Now. Uh, the interesting bit is that network namespaces can be shared between containers. So I can have multiple containers with the same network namespace. Um, in, and when, in fact, when I have a, a normal Linux machine, uh, by default, it has like one network namespace and all the processes run there and, and that's fine. So when I run a pod, I get a network namespace, I get an IP address, and then all the containers in that pod are going to be just like processes running together on a machine. So they all have the same IP address because from a network standpoint, they run locally on the same machine. Okay, so all the containers in a pod will have the same IP address. Um, and this is also the reason why pods need to be scheduled uh, as an atomic unit because the only way for that to happen is for the network namespace to be shared, and this cannot happen across multiple hosts. All the processes have to be on the, on the same machine.